right, so we've, we've had a couple of these chats and we haven't even addressed the biggest tie-in for safety, for cybersecurity, and it's, it's Triton, it's Trisis. It's that malicious code specifically designed to take out a safety system. You mean cybersecurity? There's actually a cybersecurity <laughs> risk for a safety system? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. So that's what, that's what the safety industry has said for years. I mean, cybersecurity is not important. We're air gap. We don't really have any issues. There's never been an attack on a process control process safety system. Well, that's changed. In 2022, that has changed for sure. Absolutely. And it, I think as time goes by, we're just going to see more and better malicious code developed for, you know, this, this OEM provider. Uh, this other OEM provider, okay? It might be something com coming from this side, specifically for a safety system again. And that is, that's that's a good thing in that from the outflow of that, we've seen the development for products that are now addressing that secure by design type methodology. Right, I was really surprised and, and, and overjoyed uh, in 2016 when IAC 61511 said, you must perform a security risk assessment on your safety system. And all these conferences and things, there was gnashing of teeth and angry people that didn't want to deal with it because they never have. Sure. But, but you and I both know that it's a, it's a real inherent risk and we have to address it. Absolutely.